Good morning, um, everyone. My name is Dan Brookman. Uh, I'm the CEO of Airship and Toggle, and I'm absolutely delighted uh, to be joined this morning by Amber Stainings from Bums on Seats. We're recording this on the morning of the budget, um, and everybody is waiting with bated breath uh, to see what Rishi will come out with. Um, we've read this morning that the furlough may be extended through to the autumn, uh, which, um, well, we'll wait and see what happens this afternoon. Um, so I've known Amber for about a year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've worked together um, with an equal energy over the last 12 months. So there's been a bit of a hardcore of uh, suppliers to the industry that um, I feel have just pulled out all of the stops um, to support the industry and that have been um, at making the most of a very bad situation. And Amber is certainly one of those people. Um, and Amber um, is ex Novus Leisure, um, done some work for Deltic, um, Drake and Morgan, Casual Dining. Um, she started Bums on Seats in 2019 and um, over the last 12 months has been part of the 100 day playbook. Um, the takeout to help out was uh, Bums on Seats idea and inception and just rolled it all out really quickly and got that out to the industry, which was great to help operators make the most of that. Um, she's her sales training course is endorsed by the Institute of Hospitality um, and on the 19th of this month um, Amber is up for um, the finalists for the Women in Business Awards which is brilliant congratulations on that Very um, much. So welcome Amber thanks Dan thanks for having me as always great to be here on this frosty morning of the day of the budget so let's see what happens yeah, let's see what happens. So this is all part of our Come Back Strong campaign. Uh, this is a fireside chat without the fire, uh, although this morning, as you say, it would be quite nice to have the fire. Um, uh, and I, I guess let's just launch into it. Ten minutes. Um, so what's the most pertinent thing that you can do to help operators? Yeah, really good question. And I think actually that that has absolutely been changing over the last 12 months with all the many changes that we have been witnessing and subjected to during this period. At the moment, of course, we, we should all be gearing up for reopening. And for me, that reopening is not just one thing. It's all of those three key dates across April, May and June. So the first thing is our strategic sales audits. Um, it's so vital that operators understand how they are setting up their booking system, what spaces they've got, and we can support with that strategy and identify their biggest opportunities and wins for not just reopening, but for this year. And the second part of that question, I would say, would be our sales plans. Um, plan, 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 plan. If we've learned anything, um, it's that planning is so, so important. And now we have the confidence that we shouldn't fingers crossed, touch wood, be going through this level of, of disruption again. So our seven T's sales plans are exceptional. And they're the two main things I would say that we would be doing with operators at the moment. Great. And I guess those part of those plans are around, um, you know, welcoming people in who maybe have missed their birthday in the last 90 days, if it was a big birthday or getting Absolutely. prepared for Christmas or maximising space. Absolutely right. I think that they are the key, key areas that customers are going to see trends on customers booking celebrations, occasions, Christmas. Also, you know, the brunch occasion is going to come back. There's some really vital uh, reasons to visit. I like to call them that operators should be planning for now and make sure that they have a very competitive um, offer, not discount led, but offer or package um, and that they're speaking to customers about that as soon as possible. I don't know about you, Dan, but I, I know that my diary is already looking pretty jammed packed with catch-ups with friends and family yep. from you know outside from April but also May and June as well so operators have to be capitalizing on that and you need customers to choose you yeah it's it's, it's funny you say that I got an invite um yesterday um lots of my friends are 50 this year or Dad, have I can't been. believe it I know I know it's <laughs> the moisturizer I use yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I've had my first invite to a 50 and a half birthday 
Oh, because obviously they missed their fifth. Because they missed it yeah. six months yeah. ago. So, yeah, so my first invites come through. And I think a lot of people will be doing that sort of thing. Yeah. We're saying yeah. it's double double celebrations, really, for everybody, because everybody's missed a birthday last year. They've got one this year. So even if it's not a milestone, yeah. even if it wasn't a big birthday last year, they really want to go wanting to, to make an effort this year. So there's a huge double opportunity is how I like to look at it, Dan. Yeah, great. So what should they be thinking about right now? Right uh, now? Look, I think, I think, you know, a lot of managers hopefully have, have had a bit of time off. I know how stressful it's been, but I think the first thing is coming back with that fresh viewpoint and saying, um, do my spaces work for me? What opportunities have I missed? What have I not had time to do because I've been so busy running my venues or my group of venues? So really thinking about that planning part is absolutely critical. What's the technology that I've got? Have I got the right experts doing the experts jobs? That customer journey bit now, Dan, is no longer about a booking system. It spans everything. Obviously, all the stuff that Airship and Toggle do as well. So let's make sure that you are set up for that really important customer response time because customers are not going to wait and they might still have queries and inquiries. You want them to go online, but you've got to make sure that you're responding really, really quickly. Absolutely, like we've said, those reasons to visit. So what? Why would they choose me for my birthday party, my anniversary, my get together with the girlfriends? Why are you better? And making sure that you've got all of that ready to go. And it's really easy for a customer to understand as well. Well, it's got some real clarity around that. Um, I think I think they're, they're, they're definitely the main points that everybody should be doing straight away. But then good old fashioned customer service, Dan, honestly, like, you know, it's no longer about we don't have to be so worried about the safety element because we've done that now. We know what that looks like. This is about delivering exceptional guest experience and customer service and building those relationships so that the customers come back to you time and time again. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's no good um, doing all of the activity and planning it all out if you don't deliver it on the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and what's finally uh, then, um, what's the, the, the killer operational approach uh, that will drive the most revenue, do you think? Yeah. So at the moment, we talk about four things. We talk about planning, activating, delivering and repeating. And that is absolutely what you want to do every single time. So what you're planning to reopen, activate the reopening, deliver the reopening, and then make sure you're repeating everything that you're doing really, 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 really well. Um, I think that that is absolutely critical. It's just getting into that rhythm with that level of energy that's so, so important. And um, picking up, speaking to your customers, absolutely ramp up now all of that customer contact don't be scared to pick up the phone don't dismiss your local business network if you've got one because they will be coming back and think ahead um, don't just think about that that window of the first week of opening think about Christmas think about all of those things because they're going to come around so quickly it's a really short year this year and I know that it's going to be busy so get all of your planning and everything and all your balls lined up now Amazing, amazing. I've just got a dog that's just joined me over my oh, shoulder good. there that was good, digging good. away wouldn't in the a, background. Wouldn't be a, a swim <laughs> without a dog cat. Not... <laughs> um, okay, um, brilliant. That was really good. Thank you very much. Um, and I think from my point of view, um, it's going to bring a massive influx of data. Yeah. Um, so all of these people are going to book in. There's going to be a massive wealth of data there. And um yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how operators then use that data to drive that revisit uh, and get people uh, get people coming back. I love the planning, the activating, the delivering, the repeating. Really good. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Great advice for the <laughs> operators. Um, if people want to get hold of you, how do they get hold of you? Oh, easy peasy. Contact at bumsonseats.org, amber at bumsonseats.org, website bumsonseats.org. And we've actually got a new website going live on Tuesday. Um, so do go and check us out because we've evolved so much in the last 12 months. And I'm so proud of what we've done as a business and a team. Um, so that would be great. Uh, we've also got a couple of webinars coming up, Dan, if I can mention that. Of course of you fun. can, absolutely. Um, so we've got a big one with Propel on the 23rd of March, which is going out at 12 o'clock. Please book your place via and Steel. I think we've already got nearly 300 people subscribed to that webinar wow. so i am pumped for that and it's a lot stacked full of three advice free advice and top tips and the second and most important one really obviously is our comeback stronger uh, webinar with toggle um, and actually that one's on the 15th of april at one o'clock so a little bit later on and i think what we're really going to look at making sure that that's really up to date because a lot of you may be uh, really gearing up to opening your outside space at that point so it'll be very very on point and topical for you amazing brilliant Thanks very much for your time this morning. Nice, bright and breezy. Have a great day.